Hello, I'm here on Church Street on this busy Monday afternoon. I've had a fantastic response to yesterday's video, Breck Road being swallowed up by cultural change. Breck Roaders and former Breck Roaders have been getting in touch. A former Breck Roader that used to be in the Irish Guards, served in Kosovo in 1999, was driving along Breck Road on Saturday and was shocked, was shocked at the change of a place where he used to live. He was born there, grew up there, Rydal Street, Rydal Street for those familiar with that part of Breck Road. Other Breck Roaders that still live there telling me stories that it's no longer their place, it's no longer their community, it's been taken from them, it's been changed. You see, these reckless politicians, they haven't thought long term, they don't care. All they think about is their careers. They've dispersed large numbers of new arrivals in and along Breck Road without the thinking of the consequence long term. It's been very reckless and irresponsible of them. So these areas now, not just Breck Road, many others are now being culturally changed into communities that represent somewhere else around the world, right? This isn't Joe Owens spreading prejudice or hate or anything like that. I'm speaking the, the awful truth. This is what's happening in our glorious city. Too many are being dispersed here, right? That's what's happening, that's the problem. And the parallel with the small, uh, or should I say the parallel with the black Chinese and Hindu communities that settled here decades, even longer ago, they were so small in number, numbers, they fitted in as Scousers. The Scousers then, the Scousers now. What's happening here today in Liverpool is too many are being dispersed here and they're not assimilating or integrating in fact they don't want to assimilate or integrate they want to dominate right and that's the difference what's happening you see okay sir i'll see you tomorrow oh fella normally have a coffee within waterstones been waiting for me probably anyway uh so where was i so these areas now they're being changed into communities or should I say their communities are being changed into different places. And what we need to do, the good people of Breck Road, Kensington, Fairfield, and anywhere else in and around Liverpool that's suffering cultural change, before the general election, you need to contact your local MP and ask them where do they stand regarding cultural change in Liverpool. Are they for fear of cultural change or are they opposed to it? You'll probably find that they're all in favour of it. So. You need to pick a candidate that's credible and uh, is opposed to any fear of the cultural change of our glorious city. That's what you need to do, otherwise this will continue. The only way you're going to stop this is by voting those out responsible for it. Right, I hope the general election should so-called Sir George Howarth is voting out for the seat in Nosley. Right, calling the good people of Nosley far right and racist and thugs and God knows what else. That's an example. He needs voting out, right? So I've had an excellent response from the good people of Breck Road. Breck, Breck Roaders that still live there and former Breck Roaders. Watched my video yesterday and got in touch, in touch because of, because they can see now what's happening to their glorious Breck Road and our glorious city. And they don't like it, they don't want it, and it's not right. This is our city, right? This is our city. It's not the new arrivals, it's not no one else's, it's ours. Sorry for being selfish, but that's the way it is, right? Getting very, very busy now. Um, but anyway, I'll just give a, a minute or two. So, I've had some good responses to say from yesterday's video, Breck Road being swallowed up by cultural change. People living there uh, that are still there and also former Breck Roaders uh, that have travelled through there recently were shocked. The Irish Guard being one of them, right? He moved away from Breck Road quite a while ago and was totally shocked when he drove down there. He just couldn't believe the change. The change was so dramatic. It was he noticed it instantly. And like I say, when I drove up Breck Road yesterday, 
all I saw with new arrivals, either standing at bus stops or walking up and down Breck Road. I saw the odd, new, uh, the odd uh, Breck Road uh, coming out of it a side street or a convenience store but it is a place that is changing and like I've said no more Breck Road is anymore if any form, present or former Breck Roaders have any stories to tell Joe Owens get in touch or anyone else across the city for that matter we must stand up we must oppose further cultural change okay thank you